<laughs> What's happening? Welcome to Preachers and Play by the Iron with a William. Glad y'all could join me. Please click a link in the description. That's what's up. Listen, we got a beautiful mama. Loving, loving, loving mother. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Shout out to somebody you do got your real sugar when they took your glamour shots. It looked like you might have been on a good little substance, baby. Because, like, you got, like, that wake up look or that I've been crying because y'all done caught me look in my eye. Look at that, baby. Hey, hey. And you got the little one over there. She done transitioned. That one, that, that beautiful young girl right there. She gone. Mm -hmm. Got a shout out because she do got her real in also. That's what's up. A Charlotte woman has been charged with the beating death of her seven-year-old child. Seven-year-old daughter. Her daughter was seven. Mm -hmm. She gone. I'm going to give you the story. Charlotte, North Carolina. A Charlotte woman has been charged with the beating of her. Yep. That was the same headline. But authorities say that the crime happened in Florida. My state, stay ground state. Bust a bitch and go home state. Bitch, I'm in fear for my life state. That's where it go down there. Hell, maybe since they was in Florida, she probably was in fear for her life by her daughter. Ain't no telling. But she was taken into custody in North Carolina. Janie Dickerson, 26. They say this big baby, <laughs> sugar. Hey, hey, sugar. 26. <laughs> you would sh strong though. <clears throat> was arrested on the charge of aggravated manslaughter of a child in Charlotte on Friday. She is being held at the Mecklenburg County as she awaits extradition to Volusia, Volusia County. That's down in Florida. Here where the crime occurred at, you know, they gonna transport her, come on down here, get that sense, you know, light shit. But I'm gonna go on and get into it. Belusia County detectives begin their investigation on March 2018 when a seven year old Camille Jean Baptiste was brought to an emerge an area hospital with vis visible trauma. She had to be airlifted to another facility for advanced treatment and indicated that her injuries was a result of abuse. You ain't been abusing your baby because you love your baby, right? I know. They lying on you, sugar. Don't, don't even worry about it. But Camille died a day after she was taken to the hospital on March the 7th. An autopsy, an autopsy determined that she died from hemorrhaging of soft tissue, which was likely a result of serious physical abuse. Now they saying that you done beat the hell out of your daughter, the one you love. I can't believe him, sugar. I'm on your side. For now, um, the cause of death listed in the autopsy report blunt force trauma. That means you really hit a river hard. And, and 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 the manner of death was ruled a homicide, saying that you killed the murderer. You know what I'm saying? Um, but during the interview with detectives, and this way it gets spicy. Detectives first said that Camille got hurt on a slide at a playground. Her mama, her mama them had done said her daughter got hurt on a slide at the playground. Y'all got it. Y'all follow me. However, however, Dickinson boyfriend, Brandon Williams, not the daddy, but Brandon Williams was also interviewed and told detectives that, that Dickinson had done beat Camille on several occasions. She said the daughter had done hurt herself on the slide at the playground. Boyfriend said, no, nah, that bitch been be not got there, man. That's what a player had done said. You know, because it's a dead child, and he thought she loved her. That's what's up. But as the investigation continued, Dickinson changed her story. That what you did, sugar? Changed her story, telling detectives that Camille had been hit. All right. Okay, so the blunt force trauma and all that shit, it, 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 it coincides. A big word with autopsy. I think coincide. Go, don't, don't judge me. Um, she had been hit, but in the parental, in, in the parenting capacity, and that Williams was the one who hit her. So she said that she had done slid on the playground. The boyfriend came and said that she had done beat ass multiple times, um, chastised, sped a rod, sport a child. And now she, the mother, the loving mother who lied in the beginning, now she say that her boyfriend is the one who hit her. You really do love your baby. That's so sorry. Children, best left 
with the people with the coochies on Earth. Um, but she said on March fifth, while the three of them was while the three of them were in a car, Camille kept asking to stop and use the restroom. Right, right, it's seven. Dickerson and Williams drove to a side street, pulled Camille out of the car, and beat her for around fifteen to twenty minutes with a blunt object. She then said that she drove to another location and beat her again for 30 minutes with the same object and a second object. So what you saying is she ain't slide on the playground. That that's basically what all this has said. That according to they say what you say. Um Detectives were able to use the GPS to confirm the two locations that Dickerson said that they had to stop that on March the 5th and and up their um, eventual arrival, eventual, big word, educated arrival at the hospital at 8.44 a.m. on March the 6th. Dickerson admitted to the detectives that that um, it did not call 911 to seek help for Camille during or after the beatings, even though that she noticed that her child was having trouble breathing all night long. All night you watch your baby and baby, like, chest pain and stuff because typically like when grown folks get chest pain like we run to the daughter and then they ask well have you been doing the cocaine and don't even worry about it even adults go to the doctor because breathing like if like if you can't breathe you die sugar like you leave earth i'm, I'm talking to you later um she said that in the morning that she noticed camille's body had gone limp and she was cold to the touch her head tilted and her eyes were open but glossed over and unresponsive that's when she decided to take Camille to the hospital. When asked if she thought Camille had done died before she took her to the hospital, this great mother, this loving mother, beautiful mother, love my child, lead the children with the people with the coaches. She had done said, this is the answer. Watch what it is. Hey, basically, yeah. That what they said that they baby said. That by that beautiful little girl that done transpired that done transition my bad gone off earth she gone she said basically yeah mm-hmm. yeah basically yeah, yeah. basically yeah mm-hmm. she went on to say that williams got rid of the two items he he used to beat camille on march 7th, 7th along with camille's clothes and personal items williams denied all of dickerson allegations saying he never hit camille Detectives say the investigation into the case will continue and additional charges are possible. So what you're saying, she ain't slide on the, at the playground. You know, the first story. So now we're supposed to believe the second story because you're trying to allegedly or so-called kind of sort of cover up for the ding that was in your life. He came out and said, no, I ain't never whoop him. I ain't never hit him. I'm surprised you ain't get some dingling and a boyfriend. (laughs) Listen, there's a lot of you beautiful (laughs) babies. There's a lot of you beautiful babies out here complaining that y'all can't find a man. She, 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 huh, look, this, that, that baby right there got a whole man out here and he got a damn screen. So because she able to get a whole man and we really don't need a heartbeat, I don't want to hear y'all complain about you can't get a man. If you can't get a man, there's something wrong with you and you're pretty or or like the community um, deem you as being like pretty or cute or something like that. If you, if, if, if you can't get a man, that's your bad. Jeez, I'm just saying, because this baby right here with her real, like a fella though, sugar. I mean, I got to say it because people thinking it, baby. No disrespect. People thinking it. They looking at the picture too. And I'm like, all she need to do is just do a little taper. I'm just saying, okay, shit, close it in. Don't even worry about it. You, one of y'all done killed this seven y'all. If I was law enforcement, I would have to say the mother had done did it because she lied in the beginning and then tried to blame it. This bitch don't want to take, this baby don't want to take no goddamn responsibility for it. Listen, that's your baby. You love your baby. They love their churn. Like I like throw out here, we don't care we play too, goddamn my fuck them churn. Kill it, lad. God damn it, they holding me up. Damn it, I like them. I liked the baby when I first had them because they couldn't walk, talk, and they were dependent on me. But once they started crawling around like after two months of shit, fuck them churn. They in the way. 
despite what your opinion is and what you think, she really did love her child. Her baby died by mistake, on purpose. Um, she did everything in her power to 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 um to keep her daughter safe and to keep her daughter alive, like a mother um would typically do. But this is what good good mothers do. Don't 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 get yourself all bent all out of shape. Hell, maybe it's the daughter's fault that the daughter died. According to the story, maybe she didn't actually go to the restroom like a normal seven year old would would like do like especially like on a road trip or something hey can you pull over i got a pee pee i gotta go to the bathroom i might got a boo boo or something like that because she asked to use the bathroom the restroom i don't know why we call it a bathroom well because you're supposed to be but don't even worry about it because she asked to use the restroom that's what got to add with for 15 20 minutes and then Got back in the car, drove down to another location, and be there for 30 minutes. Who the hell getting with us for 15 minutes? Let, let, let's just start. A, how's you that man? How you come up with 15 to 20 minutes? And then how you go to somewhere else and be a semi old for 30? I just, like, that really got to. You really do love your goddamn baby. So listen, on this one, we, we going to say that the semi old daughter calls her own death for doing something that a seven-year-old would normally do. Just ask to go to the restroom. So by that being said, the mother need to go on and get off and the boyfriend need to go on and get off because undoubtedly, the mother ain't gonna be charged with this fly shit to the fullest extent of the law. You know, cause we, we equal out here on earth. <laughs> Your daughter got more time than you would get. Message to all seven-year-olds, if you got to use the bathroom, hold it. Because your mama might love you, too. Appreciate y'all for rocking. I'm out.